Cynthia is amazing. Uh, I hadn't met her before this, um, and she's just completely uh, in it, completely focused, completely driven. Has obviously, I think, uh, like Casey, been attached to this. In fact, even even longer than Casey, I think, for a few years. Uh, and so feels very ready and right to to do this. You can sense that in her. She's very, very focused, uh, very clear with her choices, um, and is yeah, it really is, it really is brilliant. It's good fun. I mean, it's it's cool being in these in these beautiful places and being on location. It makes a big difference to as opposed to building a set, but there's a real sense of history in these places, especially here on a, on a real, what was a plantation. I think it's an important story to tell for more than one reason. On one basic level, it's a story which I certainly, I didn't know about beforehand. Uh, I know a lot, of, a lot of British people probably are unaware of and the rest of the world are unaware of. And I think it's an incredible story about an incredible woman who's done something remarkable. But like you say, uh, in terms of what's going on in the world today, whilst we've obviously made progress uh, from times like these, we sadly still live in a time where there are divisions and um, oppressions and in certain uh, events around the world, you know, in the last couple of years, even you can see the, the rise of um, right wing nationalism or, or alt-right groups and it's it's a sad reminder that 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 kind of conflict and division and um prejudice still exists today i think we're seeing mov movies in in cinemas i just think that's always a better way obviously it suits certain films more than others i can understand that and there's a real cinematic appeal of of certain films with the landscape and the, the size and the scale of of certain um films but I just always prefer seeing something on a, on a big screen anyway. Everyone's been amazing. I mean, from the, from the costumes um, to the hair and makeup and to the, to the DP, everyone really feels like at the top of their game. The, the DP and his team in particular, John Toll, who's shooting the movie, is uh, phenomenal. I was lucky enough to work with him before on my first film. So to see him again and see the crew here again is, is definitely special, but he's such uh, an artist and so, so brilliant. It's nice, it's nice to have him framing stuff for sure. It, the story is about uh, Harriet Tubman and her, um, her escape from the plantation and the farm where, she, where we meet her at the beginning with her family. And it follows her um, her journey from uh, from the Brodess farm up with, up north uh, to to a kind of freedom, and her choice to then return back and forth to try and rescue other slaves uh, and and join the Underground Railroad. Hey there, here's today's daily fact in the film Elizabeth the Golden Age. When Elizabeth arrives at St Paul's Cathedral, construction is going on. Now in real life, St Paul's actually needed repair work. Director Shekhar Kapoor decided to improvise and gave the workers costumes and period tools to cut real stone that was being installed in the cathedral. Now the workers in the scene are real life stonemasons and construction workers. Mm. Now click here below to subscribe for more great content.